Hi everyone, my name is Hope. I'm a conference ambassador for the University of Arkansas and I will be giving you guys this tour of Reed Hall today. If you would just go ahead and flip the camera around. Yeah. Hey y'all, does it look look okay? Oh, oh this way? There. Perfect. Sorry y'all, I have it on a, on a thing. Oh, you got it. Perfect. Go. Um, my name's Henry, I'll be the cameraman for today. Um, I'll be monitoring a chat, so if you have any questions for Hope, um, I'll be sure to read them out to her. And yeah, and also let us know where you're tuning in from, like city and state. But what is up first, Hope? Alrighty, um, first I'm just gonna talk about the doors real quick. Um, right outside is the main parking lot of Reed. There's a few other parking lots along this side of campus that you can use if you have resident reserved. But this is the one that's right outside the building. And then these are the doors. How you access the building is through a key fob and this fob will only get you in to this building. Gotcha. So you don't have to worry about anybody else coming in. Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna head towards the front desk. This is Reed's front desk. This is where you're gonna get all your mail, all your packages, you can check out supplies. They have a really nice kitchen that you can like cook in and bake in and everything like that. And you can check out equipment from there. And it's really nice. Um, there'll be an RA here until about 10 p.m. most days. Mm -hmm. And also they have this very cool RA on duty sign that will just tell you who's on duty in your building for the day. Gotcha. Alrighty. So if we head this way, we can head it to one of the common areas. It is known as the blue room for a very obvious reason. It is blue. Wow, very creative. Yes. <laughs> um, right now we are preparing for move-in to start. So it's a little bit it's not put together, but by the time move-in happens, it will be a-okay, ready to go. We got some study areas and yeah, it's just a nice little room. And if we come this way, I can show you guys where the mailboxes are. This is where you're going to get your letter mail. Mm -hmm. um, there is going to be a video on the housing mail website mm -hmm. that will tell you how to open up mailboxes. You can get all your information for them on your housing portal. Mm -hmm. You'll share a mailbox with your roommate. Gotcha. Alrighty. And if we just come this way, I can introduce you guys to the CRE of your building. Hello. Hello. My name is Mackenzie. I am the CRE of Reed Hall. That stands for Coordinator for Residence uh, Education. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, I am the main supervisor for this hall. I supervise all of the resident assistants and also manage kind of like day to day aspects of the hall. So if you have any questions about what I do, you can drop them in the chat. I'll come with you mm -hmm. on the rest of the gotcha. tour. So I'll be here. So, awesome. Yeah, it's nice right. to meet you and welcome yeah. to Reed. Very excited us, to have you. Yeah, let us know if you have any questions for Mackenzie about uh, being a CRE or anything. But, all right, cool. what is so up next? If we head this way, we can stop by the vending area. Um, right now, it is empty because we just switched over to Coke from Pepsi. And we have another vending one. Uh, you can use Apple Pay or tap on these. Just a cool little feature that the halls have now. Gotcha. A little update in the system. If we head this way, we'll head over to the sunroom and like mini little kitchen area. Mm -hmm. Room. It's a very nice little place to hang out with friends, possibly study. Um, you'll see a lot of people hanging out here. And it also gets all this natural lighting, and it's so pretty. Yeah. So. Nice place to, to hang out. Yes, yeah. and the stadium is right up there. Can't tell because the blinds are down right now. Let's see through here. Nice. We can have a good season. I hope so. Mm -hmm. I... Do a lot of programs happen in this room? Um, we're just yeah. really, really hanging out. It's place. more hanging out, a study room kind of aspect. Gotcha. Um, the room that you saw earlier, that's where a lot of programming happens. Gotcha. All right. So if we come this way, we can look at the gym. Reed is one of the three halls that actually have a gym inside the building. Oh, I got you. Mm -hmm. um, while we're waiting in, you can see the times for the gym. They're always going to be posted on the door. Mm -hmm. So this is the gym in Reed. There's a bathroom um, here down here as well. Uh, and Reed is also connected to one of the UAPD offices. Mm -hmm. And that is just through that door. Okay. But yeah, also the only people that can use this gym are the people that live in Reed. So it's also very secure. It's an exclusive. Yes. All right. Well, y'all let us know if you have any questions about Reed. And now I think you'll take us to the living room and kitchen. Yes. So, Hope, what are you studying? What's your major? Uh, I'm double majoring in chemistry and chemical engineering. Okay. And I'm minoring in physics, math, and sociology. Gotcha. Are you excited for your classes or not really? We'll 
see. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk to me after the, the first week. The fir- first week. After syllabus week, you'll know if you'll be excited or dreading it. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. We just come in here. This is the main kitchen area, as well as a little living room area. You'll see people cooking around here all the time, and mm-hmm. people will be hanging out. It's almost kind of rare to not see someone using the kitchen mm-hmm. because it's so well used yeah. within the Reed community. There's also a lot of programs that are hosted over here. Like, baking nights are always a thing in this building. Mm-hmm. Oh, and do we want to look outside and see the patio yeah. area? So the patio connects to the kitchen as well as one of the living rooms. Mm-hmm. And it's just this nice little area. Yeah. I'm sure that they'll spruce it out up just a little bit before we mm-hmm. in. Gotcha. But it is a very nice area. Yeah. And then from this way, connecting to the kitchen, we have the living room. You'll see people having movie nights here all the time. There's always something going on. Mm-hmm. There's sometimes you even programs here for movies and things mm-hmm. like that. It's really nice. What's your, what's your summer guilty pleasure show? Ooh. Oh. Do you have one? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I have one. Mm-hmm. I love Criminal Minds personally. Mm-hmm. I took it off Netflix. But I'm so, yes, it's sad. I'm so sad that wow. I took it off Netflix. So this is the community, the co-ed restroom. So since this is an all-girls dorm, if you have someone that is male that is coming over, they would have to use this restroom on the first floor. Okay, gotcha. We continue this way. The first room on your right is going to be the trash room. For trash and read, you do have to go outside this door and take it to the dumpster that's just right outside the mm-hmm. door. Mm-hmm. Okay. But this is where you come for trash. Gotcha. And then if we keep going down this way, we will hit the laundry room. So this is the laundry room. It also has the ice machine if you ever need it. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a few washers, quite a few dryers. There's mm-hmm. enough to go around, I promise. You would be surprised. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, we are switching to a new system for washing and drying this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are doing two washes and two dries mm-hmm. per week. Per week, yeah. And, and then it will be through an app that it's not up and ready yet, but by the time you guys move in, it will be. Yeah, and that app is Speed Queen. Yes. Speed Queen. One quick note about laundry. Mm-hmm. Um, make sure you don't leave stuff here because we have had, sometimes in the past, students clothes have to take it out. Mm-hmm. So just make sure that you're really on top when your clothes are done so that everything stays yeah. safe. Don't be one of those people who leaves it in there for an hour yeah. Yeah. or multiple hours. Yes, that mm-hmm. is always the worst. Uh, Mackenzie, you may know the answer to this question. Did they get new washing machines? Do they look new? Um, they look quite similar to the ones that I've seen in here before, so I don't mm-hmm. think they're new. So we've had a mixture. We do life cycle our laundry machines mm-hmm. uh, at a pretty regular pace. Mm-hmm. Um, but the ones for um, Speed Queen, they just need to be networked so that you can you can Connect basically fob your uh, gotcha. or, or your your washers and dryers. Right, so we're going to the eighth floor. We're heading and- out to the eighth floor out of the nine floors in the building, mm-hmm. and we're going to check out the rooms and mm-hmm. common area and the bathrooms. Gotcha. And we may lose a little bit of connection here, y'all. So just bear with us if we do. What if we have anyone on the eighth floor who's living in the eighth floor? I know. Yeah. It? When we've been doing construction, I mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, there, there's, we'll see, see some, some construction stuff on the floors. Yes. <laughs> upgrades to electricity, upgrades to the venting. Mm-hmm. And hot water. And hot water. Hot water. Yeah. Thank you. All, All right. Alrighty. So this is one of the rooms. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of people living here. Looks like it needs new lights. Oh, okay. Like we said, we're working on electricity <laughs> to make it better for the building. Absolutely. So they probably just have it turned off because mm-hmm. they're working on it right now. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, this is just a nice little common area, a nice little study area. Mm-hmm. Got a TV. You can hang out. Sometimes Ari's will have programs mm-hmm. in this area. Gotcha. And we had a question, Christopher. Do you know how much extra washes will cost? A dollar fifty is what we think. Gotcha. A dollar fifty. Alrighty. So we're gonna head over to what each bathroom looks like on the floor. Again, bathrooms in Reed, except for the one on the first floor, are female only. But yes, we have uh, the stalls that are separated from the showers. And then these are the showers? Yes. 
So it looks like there's five. five. Gotcha. And then how many bathrooms are on each floor? There's Bathroom two. areas? Two. There's going to be one gotcha. on this side, and then on the other side of the floor, on the, by the other side of the elevators, there's going to be enough. Gotcha. All right. Now I think we'll go look at a room, right? Yes. Perfect. So for reference, we are looking at room 816, but every single room is going to look the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, do a... So this is a basic outline of the room. As you can see, we have removable shelves, like mm -hmm. bookshelf vibes for, mm -hmm. for the desk. desk. Um, we got some shelving, built-in closets, mm -hmm. and then if we look outside, you have a great view of the stadium, this as well a, as the rest of Fayetteville. This is an awesome view. The other side does have a great view also of like the Ozark Mountains, so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great yeah. views in Reed and all buildings that are built like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Will we be looking at an end room? Uh, is that a question that we were asked? That's, yeah, that was an extra, that was a question that we were asked. Perfect. Uh, yes, we can, I'm sure, look at Christopher's looking at one right now. So yeah, gotcha. We'll, we'll take you. All right, just give us a little, give us a little bit to look at it in the room. Um, but yeah, I'll do one last overview of the room, and then I'll start taking some questions. And hope do you have the measure on you? I yes, you do. Yes. There you go. And Christopher, we were asked to look at an end room. Okay. So sure. yeah. So when we got one ready. Okay, gotcha. In fact, let's go ahead and check that one out first. And, and, and then okay, so we'll get to y'all's measurement questions, but we'll look at the end room first because most of y'all will be having a. Uh, Having uh, the just the regular rooms, the common rooms. There's only how many of these in rooms? Um, two on each floor. Two yes. on each floor. So this is the exception. Yeah. Mm hmm And the furniture, is the furniture the same in the, in the rooms? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, down here. Sorry. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh that. That one. Okay. Uh, so I need to go oh, oh, check oh, no. and make sure it looks okay. <laughs> There's no drawers open. Yeah, okay. We're all right. Just drawers <laughs> open. No worries. All right. So this is what um, an end room will look like. Again, there's only two on each floor, so mm -hmm. there's only 16 in the building. Um, yeah, it's the exact same type of furniture, but it's just kind of more spread out because of the door. Sure. All right. What, were there dimensions that they wanted in this room? Um, I don't think they asked for dimensions in the end room. Um, I guess if we wanted to look, we could see, we could get the length and width of the room because everything else should be the same. Um, just fire from any corner, cross. Yeah, we just got a question for what are the room measurements for an end room. So. Uh, 8 by 10 for this way. 8 by 10. And I'll move out of your way so you can get a good laser beam across the room. Okay, I'm looking at 17 by 8. 17, okay, so 17, 17, 8 inches uh, long, and then eight, it was 8 feet something wide? 8 by 10. 8 by 8, 8 feet 10 eight inches. 8 feet 10 inches yeah. wide. And then you want to go ahead and give us the height as well? Yeah. Uh, eight foot. Eight foot, gotcha. And then someone was asking about measuring the space above the vanity, but should that be, the, that would be the same in the, the other rooms, right? I don't know. I think Let's measure it would just be... in case. Mm -hmm. Just in case this is an outlier. Let's go ahead and measure it. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. 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 Ye
the other room and get, start getting the measurements. Uh, do we show them the window? There's not much to see there. We just can hear where. Yeah. Works. So. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, this this is the window the space. Of the cross of the window here. That's that question. Eleven feet one inch. 11 feet, 1 inch. And then we, sorry, we did just get one more question. How many plugins are in the end room? So let's see if you can see. Uh, it's always between 6 and 12. So 2 there. There See how many we've counted so far? There's, there's, there's two more here. Two and two. There's um, another one right here. So two and two there, so that's eight right now. So I think there might be eight. Eight. Yeah. So there are eight eight plugs. Yes. The room. All right, so now we can go okay. to the uh, the room. Let's leave the way, Hope. Alrighty. So we're just going to head back down the hallway and go to back mm -hmm. to the normal room. Gotcha. And I'll scroll up and see where the last question was. Okay. So the first question we have is, could you measure from the top of the desk to the ceiling so we can make shelves? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five, five. Five, five, gotcha. All right. Mm -hmm. Can we get closet measurements? And we, I think we have. We have them pre-done because we know these questions are coming. <laughs> um, so when we look at the closet, from the floor to this, it is not given. Not given. Uh, I think it's just just like um, from here. So like the that. depth of this is one foot eleven, mm -hmm. and then the height from this to this is four eleven. Four eleven. So yes. from the bottom to kind of that first that first shelf. Yes. And then the height right here is nine inches. Nine inches. And then the width is one foot four. One foot four. And then the height up here is one, and then to the ceiling, one foot nine. One foot nine. And then the width is also one foot four. Okay, gotcha. So width for everything is one foot four. Gotcha. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Uh, I guess we could go from the bottom to the top and give them just the yeah, full. the full height. There's a lift up there that's about a, um, two inches, maybe one inch. Uh, seven foot seven. Okay, so uh, seven feet seven inches for the height of the closet. Um, and then I know someone was asking about the vanity, but here is um, the space above, above the vanity here. How many inches off the floor is a semi-lofted bed? So, semi-lofted means the question. So I guess semi-lofted is how it would be here. So um, right here is about 35 inches, I mm -hmm. believe. Um, and so every um, like peg that you can adjust it to is three inches. So I'd say, um, I guess, Hope, could you measure like where it is currently just to give people an idea of where it's at now? One foot eight. So it's currently the beds will be most of them will be defaulted to one foot uh, eight inches off the ground. It'll go from twenty four inches to fifty nine inches mm -hmm. uh, every three feet. Every three, I'm sorry, every three <laughs> inches. You okay. can do three inch intervals between mm -hmm. twenty four inches and fifty nine. Oh, sorry, yeah, twenty four and fifty nine inches. Gotcha. How high is the thirty six and lofted bed? Um. I'm not sure what can that. Can you can you use that to so show? Three foot off the ground. Yeah. So yeah. Three, six inches. You you can usually sit, start the laser beam, and then you can move oh, it. It is exactly right here. Yeah. Gotcha. So about about that that <laughs> area. Uh, you saw that. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Good job. <laughs> you don't even you don't even need that tape measure. Yes, not. Or not tape measure, electrical measure. What do we do with the desk chairs and desk shelves that we won't use? Um, that is a great question. Mm -hmm. You are not allowed to take any furniture out of the room, so like you can't bring it home or throw it out. I know people have done that in the past, and that is a no. Mm -hmm. um, people have stored them underneath their beds before. That's always an option. Mm -hmm. That's usually what I've seen people do. Anything you would add, Mackenzie? Um, I know in the past that people have 
stored everything away, just like Hope said. The only thing that you have to make sure to do before moving out at the end of the year is you have to make sure everything is put back together how you mm -hmm. found it gotcha. um, when you moved in. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to rearrange things. Okay, gotcha. What is the measure of the heights of the cinder blocks? Trying to get a measurement for a shelf we have seen in the picture. The ledge. The ledge, yeah. I think the sheet has some ledge measurements already. Yeah. Okay, so the ledge is 11.8 this way. Mm -hmm. And then this way is 1.2. Mm -hmm. And then what's the height? Does it say on there? You may have to measure it. Uh, five by two. Five by two height. And then the height from the floor is two by nine. Okay. How far is the windowsill height? So we kind of, oh. yeah, we, we just, just talked about that. Five foot two. Five foot two, yeah. All right, so we're up to date on those questions, but uh, feel free to keep asking them. Um, oh, we say that, and so it just got us another question. Can you confirm the highest level of the bed, trying to buy a bed skirt to cover the highest loft? So it would be about six feet is the highest loft? Look it up. You can check move-in.ur.edu mm -hmm. under ready to arrive, mm -hmm. and under the lofting area, it'll say. Mm -hmm. It's about that. I'll give that exact measurement. I think I did earlier. It is 59 inches. 59 what inches. I have as the... Uh, highest that it can be lofted. Okay, so about almost five feet. All right, but in the meantime, uh, Hope, could you talk a little bit about A Week? Yeah, so A Week is a event that we have on campus. It is right after you guys move in. It's the first week before classes start. Basically, campus just hosts all these events for you guys to make new friends and meet new people, try new things in Fayetteville, try new things for the University of Arkansas. They have all these cool events. They have events that free food, like the Taste of Fayetteville, where they bring in um, like vendors from the area, like mm -hmm. local people to try new foods, and mm -hmm. you might find places that you want to go with friends afterwards. Uh, they also have things like Chocolate Wasted, which is kind of like a dance party, and mm -hmm. it's a little bit of everything. Yeah. It's also to raise advocacy um, around campus. Mm -hmm. And then they also have things like traditional where you go down to Razorback Stadium and you learn all these traditions that we do at games and just how to be like a true Hawk fan. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And I would definitely, definitely recommend uh, going out to those because that's a good way to, uh, to meet, meet new friends. Uh, we had another question was, does room 321 face the stadium? Um, 321, yes, should face the stadium, because mm -hmm. um, I believe it's 9 through 22. Gotcha. Uh, face the stadium. All right. Awesome. Well, um, that's also, we're up to date on the most questions, but for now, I'll talk about pick one. Hope, let me know if, all right, is the camera good? Yeah. All right, perfect. So we have this uh, program that we have, it's called pick one. You can find more about it by going to pickone.uark.edu. And essentially uh, what it is that we have so many different student organizations on campus that it can be a little overwhelming. So the goal of it is to just pick one so that way uh, you join it at the start of your, uh, that's at the start of the school year, and so that way you're already involved uh, with an organization on campus. And that could be anything from lead hogs where you um, um, make improvements to the dorm, you meet every week with the people living in your residence hall. It could be something related to uh, UREC, which is our fitness center. Um, and so you'll uh, do activities revolved around that. And there's so many more that I can't even remember them all. Um, but definitely go to pickone.york.edu and be sure to, to join before you come on campus. All right, let me see. You did get a question. Yeah. There's not a kitchen on each floor. There's only one on the first floor. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's, there's, there's two. two. So we have the big kitchen and we have the little kitchenette right outside of the sunroom. Yeah, it's the, because the, the bigger kitchen has everything that you can think of and the small kitchenette has a oven and a stove. Yes. Gotcha. All right. Um, in the meantime, before we wait for questions, uh, Hope and Mackenzie, I was wondering what advice would you give? Uh, we'll start with we'll start with Hope Ooh. for incoming freshmen. Um, I would say uh, all the advice you give, words of wisdom. I'm gonna go a different route, and I'm gonna say, don't be afraid to go to office hours. Teachers are there for a reason. The professors mm -hmm. are very helpful during office hours. Gotcha. Do not sleep on those because mm -hmm. people yeah. do, and mm -hmm. they 
do not know at all. Yeah, it may, may help when you finally need to, to boost that B to an A uh, yes. when your professor actually knows you. <laughs> All right. Hope took mine. So <laughs> okay, I'll think of something different. Uh-huh. Um, since you kind of hit on an academic um, piece of advice, I'll hit on maybe like a social piece of advice. Um, so I know Reed residents typically are very involved on campus, um, but for those of you who might be a little uncomfortable kind of going to things by yourself, don't be. A lot of freshmen coming on campus all feel the same way, um, but that's how you're going to just find your community on campus is trying new things. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there. I know it's scary, but a lot of people are doing it. Mm, gotcha. Thank you. Great advice for both of y'all. All right. We have no more questions. So I'm going to do a quick, quick overview of the room again. Let's see if there's any last thing here. I'm going to, I'm going to get in the corner. There we go. Will the rooms be clean for moving or should we bring cleaning supplies? They, they will be should clean. be clean. They will yeah, they'll de- definitely be clean. We went through that um, at the end of last yeah. semester, so they'll definitely they'll definitely be cleaned. Yes. Um, and for anything, um, when you move in, there will be uh, be like dollies and mallets if you need to adjust your bed. So um, there's so we'll have uh, some move in supplies if you need. How would you describe your move in process? Yeah. Mm-hmm. My freshman year was a little bit uh, weird because I did move in during COVID. I don't, which kind of altered the process just okay. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But um, I will say, bring all the help you can get. And mm-hmm. um, I think a big tip on moving in is to get everything in your room first and then start all packing. Because mm-hmm. otherwise you're going to run out of time in the parking lot. And that's not going to be fun because then you have to leave. And you have to try to get your stuff in without being able to be close to the mm-hmm. room. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely... Bring everything up first, move your car, and then unpack. That is something that mm-hmm. needs yeah. to be Did you have lots of boxes, like grabbable boxes? Um, I do now. Now that I've moved mm. a couple times, mm-hmm. um, I have more experience, and I do think that like disposable boxes are pretty easier, like cardboard. Um, they're just easier because you can just kind of, they're like a dollar at the store, mm-hmm. and you can just recycle them instead of having to like try to store them somewhere. Um, but then also sometimes if you bring um, shelving or like those like three tier cards and things like yeah. that, sometimes if you already have them like filled with stuff, it's actually easier when you're moving in because you don't have to like try to unpack anything and then put it back into mm-hmm. like a container. If that makes sense? Yeah. That's also something I would recommend. Yeah. If you're going to like bring those little like carts and shelves, like have them filled already. Yeah. But de- definitely agree uh, with the getting all your stuff in your room first because that makes it easier for, for us as someone who used to be an RA, you know. Very, very helpful if you get all your stuff in your room first and then start unpacking. Shower shoes? Did you have shower shoes? Oh, yes. Shower shoes are a must in Mm -hmm. these showers. Um, So since you share a shower with basically everybody on your floor, Mm -hmm. don't want to accidentally contract anything from anyone. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. It's a hygiene thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have two questions about air conditioning. Uh, so will the AC be turned on for moving? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yes. We would not do that to you. That would be, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Like that. that made me remember one thing. Definitely uh, remember to, to bring water um, yes. when you go to moving because it's going to be hot. We also will have water uh-huh. here for yeah. you. Um, but, yeah, we do have water fill-up stations on every floor and on the ground floor. So if you have, like, a water bottle, mm-hmm. you can also use that too. There's ice makers, right? Yes. So if you have your hydro flask, you know, throw a couple ice cubes in there. Yeah. Stay cold all day. But next question about the AC. Does each floor control the AC or how does that work? It's a great question. So um, each room does have a um, thermostat, so you can turn down your room. Um, However, if you're wondering about, like, overall AC versus heat control, we don't have control over that for each room. So... If you're cold, you can't turn it on to the heat when the AC's on, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But you do have, like, direct temperature control. Do you want to tell them about the seasonal change? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so um, every year when we go from hot, uh, from cold to hot, like in October-ish, mm-hmm. October typically. for the fall and then usually April in the spring. Yeah. Um, Reed sometimes does have some issues with the temperature um and also sometimes mold will happen i don't want to worry anyone the mold has always been non-toxic 
Um, there are a lot of ways you can prevent doing that, so that means um, putting in a work order just as soon as you see something so that our uh, maintenance crew can come in and clean everything. They always do. Um, don't put things over your um, AC unit, like especially wet towels. Um, mm -hmm. That has caused a lot of issues in the past. Um, and three, get dehumidifiers, um, get things that will collect moisture from the air that has helped mitigate the issues. Mm -hmm. um, gotcha. Just so you are aware. Gotcha. Yeah. We have another question uh, for you, Mackenzie. For move-in, will we be directed to a specific lot after we unload? Um, so that's a yes, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, typically, it's Garland Parking Garage. Yeah, if you're on the north, it'll be Garland Parking Garage. And yeah. you can park there, uh, not overnight, but during the mm -hmm. day at the top floor. Okay, yeah. gotcha. And a follow-up to that is, can our kids park in resident reserve on move-in days? Not on move-in days. So our lot will be completely closed down from Tuesday through Sunday, or? It's at least Saturday. At least Saturday. So for a majority of move-in week, it'll be closed. I won't park there, RAs won't park there. Um, typically, people who have resident reserve will park in a parking lot across from Reed. Um, that is still very close to the building. Mm -hmm. but lot 56 is also a place yeah. where you can park before, you know, during move-in week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on the south end of campus. It's a little distance from here. So. Yeah. Gotcha. And then once you're able to, like, park back in resident reserved, R is will let you know. Yes. Gotcha. Um, next question. How bright are the mirror lights? So could you turn that turn that on? It's, ooh, right there. This is how, how bright it is. Um, yeah. Um, next question. My daughter's room is on floor eight. Our elevator's really slow on moving. Will we have enough time to go to and from our car? You will definitely have enough time. I was an RA in Reed for three years, so I've done moving here for three years, and we haven't ever really had that many issues with people not being able to um, make it. So our elevator policy is that if you are rolling something or carrying things, if you're above floor four, you are able to take the elevators up and down. So we don't allow everyone to go to try and mitigate some of that issue. Mm. And there will be someone like sitting in the elevator, right? Yes. To control it? RAs mm. will be controlling the elevators. Gotcha. All right. Well, I think that's all the questions we have. Um, I'm going to do another, another last preview of the room, see if there's any last minute questions, and then I'll have you all sign us out. What type of extension cords are we allowed to have? That's a good question. Um, you're able to have extension cords, but I will say be wary because they will sometimes cause like a short out, short yeah. out, like a circuit. Um, like mm -hmm. So I would try to get something that is like more secure. They do have surge protectors, like mm -hmm. extension cords that I would recommend. I have one and it works fine. I got mine from Walmart for just a couple bucks. Definitely get a surge protector one. That you help um, get one that can like turn on and off with the switch um, and also when you do have them because every student will have an extension cord don't fill up all the plugs because that's going to help <laughs> not have uh, yeah. electrical issues <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. I bet. and we just recommend that you don't plug cords into cords so yeah <laughs> try not to have an extension cord and then plug another extension cord yeah into the cord. yeah um, bad, bad things will happen yeah. but yeah circuit Circuit protectors are good to have. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think that's all the questions we have. So um, uh, we'll start with you, Mackenzie, to sign us off. Any last words? Perfect. Um, I'm very excited for this upcoming year in Reed. It's great to be back in a place I called home for three years. I'm really excited to get to create you know, a welcoming and excited community for all the residents here. So I'm really excited to meet everyone. Um, so yeah. Good luck packing for the next three weeks, and mm. I'm excited to see you. Yeah, and we do have one last question for oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> if we mail to our, so this person said they're coming from Georgia. Okay. If we mail to our student, will the mail room be open during move-in? So can they pick up packages during move-in, I'd say? I don't think we can accept packages uh, mm. prior to the move-in. Okay. Just because we don't have a good place to hold on to them. Yeah, and yeah. our hall admin that usually does all of our packages. Um, it's going to be very busy with like keys and things. Yep. So. But if you want to call our front desk at housing and get a better answer, feel free to. Yep. We'll be able to tell you more exactly yep. like, what's the exact date when you mm -hmm. can start mailing things. Because I understand the need. It's just we don't have the human resources to pull that one off. Gotcha. And to find that phone number, you can go to housing.york.edu. And all right, everyone thank Hope for giving our tour around. And yeah, you can go ahead and sign us out. All right.
Thank you guys for coming. I hope you guys enjoyed our little tour at Reed Hall, and I hope you guys are excited to move in, and we'll see you then. Awesome. Thank you.